All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Welcome to the WDCS announcements for Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. Today is an odd day. It is also National Eat Outside Day. The word of the day is effulgence. It means radiant splendor. The state capital's golden dome shone with effulgence in the sunlight. The Key Club will have an interest meeting next Thursday, September 8th, after school. Meeting locations will be announced later. Mr. Batista and Mr. Schultz have asked us to announce that the first meeting of the Gay Straight Alliance GSA Club will take place on Tuesday, September 6th from 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. in room 1221. The GSA will then meet every first and third Tuesday of each month. Mr. Schultz has also asked us to announce that the first meeting of the chess club will take place on Tuesday, September 13th from 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. in room 1221. Chess Club meeting will take place on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month in 1221. Anyone interested in learning and playing chess is welcome. If you don't know how to play, we can teach you. For our next teacher interview, we sat down with the legend himself, Coach Morales. Go ahead. Fire away. See, hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Everything's okay. Good. So, how long have you been teaching and is it something you're passionate about? This has been my, this is my 23rd year in education, and yes, it's something I'm very passionate about. Since I was a kid, I wanted to become a teacher or a coach. Mm. Everyone knows you're a pretty fit guy, so describe your perfect cheat day. I would probably have to say it would be a Shake Shack. I would probably get two double cheeseburgers, a shake, waffle fries. Or if I'm going to do another cheat day somewhere else, it'll probably be um, a large pizza, margarita style, by myself. Okay. For those who don't know, how many sports have you coached at DCS? So from 2006 to 2012, I coached girls basketball, varsity. Um, I coached boys and girls swimming. And then in 2012, I coached, I stopped coaching those sports, and then I went to track only. Um, and then in 2019, I stopped coaching track, and then I went to start, I started the weightlifting team. And finally, what's your biggest goal for this year? Um, I would say uh, personally or for the sports team, my girls. Both. Okay. Personally, um, I think my biggest goal outside of teaching would be for me to uh, compete at the world level as a master's lifter. Um, as far as teaching wise, I think it would be just to you know, accomplish all the goals that I set out. Um, that I, all the things I wanted to accomplish with all my classes, that would be a checklist that I have, that would be. And then two, uh, girls winning the state championship, that would be my last goal, ultimately. And then to win districts on my birthday, we're going to do that, okay? So that would be my best birthday present ever, just letting you know. Thank you so much for your time. There will be an interest meeting of the Green Club this Friday after school in room 1120. There will be an interest meeting next Tuesday for any high school girls interested in joining Sister to Sister. 
The meeting will be in Mr. Eugene's room, 1126 at 250. We are proud to announce the return of our middle school dance, which will be hosted at our own DCS cafeteria Friday, September 30th from 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. The cost is only $15 per student, which includes one slice of pizza, a soda or water, and party favors. Additional refreshments will be available for purchase. Admission will start at 6.15 p.m. and doors will close promptly at 6.45 p.m. No admission after 6.45 arrival. Students must be picked up approximately after the dance ends. The payment deadline is Tuesday, September 27th. Please turn in your check or cash to Ms. Matos in the Student Service Office suit. Checks should be payable to Doctors Charter School of Miami Shores. In order to attend, you must meet the following requirements. You must be a current middle school student at DCS. Sorry, no outside guests. Students must be in good academic standing, no academic warning or probation. Students must not have any significant behavioral referrals. Students must be at school for the entire day on the 30th. Students are expected to dress in appropriate attire for a middle school dance. Students must be picked up by 9.15 p.m. Students must have their family ID completed by Tuesday, September 27th. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Montos at montosm at drcharterschool.org. For those interested in joining cheerleading, there will be an interest meeting next Wednesday, September 7th in room 2102. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Floyd at floydc at drcharterschool.org. As we've mentioned, the Media Center is not open. You can find the hours posted in the box on the wall just outside the Media Center. If you're not sure what it looks like, just look behind me. We thought it would be a good idea to also show you some of the cool new things in there, so we visited with Mrs. Schofield. Hi guys, I am in the Media Center today with Mrs. Schofield. Mrs. Schofield, what do you have for us today? Hi, it's very exciting. We have all kinds of cool STEM-related activities besides our wonderful books. Um, as some of you already in my STEM, eighth grade STEM classes know, we've been working with the Spiro robots. They're so cute. Oh. Some people are already naming them and that kind of thing. So but cool. we're learning how to program those and uh, drive them around, use them, do different things. We're using either our phones or iPads and trying to figure out how to make it light up or roll or just you know, do whatever we need it to do. Uh, besides that, we also have these uh, Lego kits. Right now, if you would like to come after school and hang out in the media center and use these, you can build robots. There's all kinds of neat parts in there. One of the things I love about Lego is how colorful they are. Definitely do not disappoint here with all kinds of colorful pieces. And then you have all kinds of sensors available too. Light sensors, sound sensors, I think you can do all kinds of things as well. So that is definitely something to come check out. So then, what else do we have? Ah, that's the robots. Then we're working on learning to use these acrobatic drones and we're hoping to get a drone team here at, at DCS. So if you think you would like to fly some drones and learn how to do all kinds of skills with those, then you need to definitely talk to me or Mr. Schofield because we're working on developing that team. So there's that. And then down here, if you're more of a quiet logic puzzle type person, I have some puzzles here you can come do in the media center as well. Um, all kinds of ones, like there's one that involves putting frogs in a certain order and trying to jump them, or there's different ones with like colorful tiles, you have to make patterns, or just, or if, you, if you've ever, seen some of those like a Cracker Barrel where they're all tied up and you have to try to untwist them. And so all kinds of things there too. So um, hopefully I'll see some of you on here having fun with that. And then for those book lovers and for any Whovians that might recognize this, this is the steampunk kind of thing with the uh, TARDIS. But um, I'm going to shrink this down and we're going to hide it each week and have a scavenger hunt here in the media center. So any student, the first student to find it each week will get hero points. So hopefully some of y'all will be coming in and checking out our books and trying to find this for the scavenger hunt. So, so that's where we're at. We've got a lot of cool stuff and hope to see more of you soon. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We'd like to wish a happy birthday today to those who are the Cruz and Mikhail Bolino. Thank you for tuning in, Hawks. Have a